How to add a slot normal to a tapered face. Coming right up. Hey everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. Thanks to Tom for sending an email, email address is down in the description area, with this topic. How to add a slot normal face, normal to a face of a tape. Let's get into Fusion and I'll show you. Tom's question is, how do we add a slot to this face that is, that is normal to this tapered face? So you might be, if you're looking from the front view here, it might be easy enough to draw a, a line down here and draw a straight rectangle down and revolve that. But how do we do a taper to this? Well, let's do it. I'm gonna open a new sketch. And then if you hit P for project, and I just talked about this in a recent video about these different project commands, you can also find, hit the sketch drop down, project include, uh, the project there. You can choose between just selecting uh, edges or you can select the whole body. I'm gonna select the whole body here, select this and hit okay. That would actually give me projected edges all around this this thing here. So now, still being in that sketch, I can hit L for line, and I can actually pick up the center of this line here, what would be uh, where you see the triangle up here. Hit line, and then it will actually snap, it will snap it in to be perpendicular, but just because sometimes you don't wanna do that, I'm just actually gonna make it like in a little bit of weird angle here, just place the, just place the, the line in here. Um, you can go over and you can use perpendicular over here, and I can say that I want this line to be perpendicular to that, okay? D for dimension, and uh, I'm just, it's a little bit hard to see. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna make this three millimeters down. Then I can hit O for offset, and now I can set this one over. One millimeter there is fine. Do it one more time. This time I'm gonna flip the direction on it, so it goes the other way. And then alpha line is gonna close up this kind of like layout. So now, if I hide the body, we have this rectangle here. Maybe I should have done this with the body hidden. Um, hopefully it makes sense. Stop the sketch. So remember, if you go in and you use the revolve, extrude, sweep, and loft, you can both add material and you can cut with these. So just like we used revolve before to make the the bar stock, we can also hit revolve and we can cut with it. So if we go in and uh, get our sketches here, select those two profiles, and uh, then for my axes, just gonna select the outside perimeter here, hit okay, and we now have that slot normal, that'll be normal to, to that face there. And now if we go in, for example, doing a section analysis, Click on that and uh, just click on this here. You will get uh, that vision of this one being per uh, normal to perpendicular, normal to that, that tapered face. I hope this was useful, Tom. I definitely appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to reach out. My email address is down in the description area. Any future topics you would like to see, this is just trying to add a little bit more value to your Fusion 360 experience. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, that's okay. And I absolutely appreciate all your comments. Until the next time, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much.